toy. Um, so, what I'm going to do for this video is technically talking about my research on what I did for Pet Rat. If you're looking for a pet rat, because I am actually looking for a pet rat probably in August. And I have done a few things to get prepared to have a pet rat, and also I have gone on um, a lot of websites to just get some more research and information so I can be super prepared to have one or two. So first of all, of course, you have to find out its name, its gender, and how old you want it to be, and all that sort of stuff. So, if you're looking for a type of gender, uh, if you're looking for a um, very active rat that isn't super big, I suggest a girl rat because they are very, very energetic, and they always want to run around and play and do all sorts of things and um but if you're looking for one that just wants to cuddle but still wants to play i suggest a male rat but don't get them neutered because that can cause them to get sick really sick and what i've read is that it might cause them to get fatally injured somehow or fatally sick i wasn't 100 percent sure but i know something really bad would happen to them if you get them neutered so don't get them neutered and the average life span for a rat would usually be two years or maybe even 18 months based on how you care for it what food you give it how much playtime you give it, and all sorts of things on how you care for them. So, about cages. The best cage you can get is a wire cage with a flat bottom so you can put their litter in it. Yes, they do need litter. And you want it to be like maybe two square feet for each rat. Yeah, two square feet for each rat. Um, and you always need to get them in groups of two. So you can get four if you even want to, but the minimum you should get is two because they want to be together. They don't want to be alone. So you always want to keep them in groups. So they have a happier, happier life. Food. You want to give them a balanced diet. I don't really suggest rat food. You can give them rat food, but make sure there's no corn or al alpha in it because that can be really bad for rats. And don't get them the seed kind, but making your own is really good. Just maybe put some nuts in there and maybe some dried fruit like tiny tiny pieces of dried fruit in there and just mix it up and then put it in a small bowl for them in their little cage another thing on food you must always give them fruits and veggies and you always want to make them fresh and you have to wash them so that your rats don't get sick and they love love fresh fruit so always make sure it's fresh playtime so when you're looking to play with a rat always make like some plastic tube things plastic not plastic cardboard cardboard never give them plastic it can be really bad for them and also never give them play-doh or paint never paint their cage that is toxic so no paint or play-doh 
but if you're looking to make like a playpen, maybe make it like six boxes, make them flat and just duct tape, duct tape them together. I cannot speak. And just make a circle out of them and just put like cardboard pieces in it and maybe make a wooden ladder, maybe get some plastic crates. And yes, you can give them plastic crates. They won't chew on it. But if you don't want them to chew on something and you want it to have like a nice scent to it instead of just putting some bad smelling thing on it, just use lemon juice. It, they hate lemon juice and also the smell of raccoons or any big predator. But I would suggest lemon juice, like let's say they're chewing on your um, chair leg, just put some lemon juice on where they're chewing on each leg and then they'll get a habit of not chewing on that leg. And now, for last but not least, the best thing about getting a rat is naming it. Well, adopting a rat, the best thing about adopting a rat is their names. I already named my girl rats Sugar and Spice. And pair names are really cute, like Batman and Robin, Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper is one of my favorites. And Cookies and Cream are pretty popular, in my opinion. But um, if you don't want a rat pair name, or if you're just going to get one rat, if your parents say you just have to get one rat, just like search up for cute names. Like if your rat is like black and white, you can name it Oreo or Cookies and Cream if you want. <laughs> if you have a black rat that's not in a pair, you can just name it Batman or Ratman which is really cute, you know, but, um, one website I use has a lot of really good names, it had, like, 750, I think, and all of them are really good, and if you're looking for food names, I really suggest cookies and cream, or a rat pair, it's really cute, who can say no to that name? And also, you can name it Salt and Pepper, which I've already said. One more thing about rats. If you have a cow or cat or a dog, make sure to have a lot of supervision when they both are in the same room or in the same area so that your rats don't get eaten or squashed. What I would do is just keep my rats in one room, which will be their playroom and their room that has a, their cage in it. Just um, close the door and then you don't exactly have to always be in the room with them. Just make sure they're both together. And with, with their wire cage, wire cages have to... Well, their cage has to have bars that aren't that thin. Their bars have to be close together, but not so close together. And also get them like a grid so that they can climb on it. And make them pretty thin. Well, thick-ish. Like, just maybe a little bit thinner than your pinky. And, um, I think the max width of the bars should be, like, a, an inch or under, if you want. And that would technically be it for rat talk on technically caring for rats properly. Also, about litter, I forgot to say something about litter. Don't leave yet. Litter is very important. Never, ever use normal cat litter. That can be really bad for them. And they might choke on it if they try and eat it. Because, yes, they will try and eat it. But, um... But, you should get paper pellets. The paper pellet kind. Because 
if they chew on it, it won't hurt them. Well, if they eat it, it won't hurt them, and they're small, so it won't choke them. And also, it's nice and comfy and cozy, so that they can maybe even sleep on it. And you can also potty train them by moving their poop into a, like a little container with some litter in it. And also, they just want to pee on a rock, just put a rock in the corner. And that is it for rat talk.